Hi friends, welcome back to Teaching in Room 9, our region's largest classroom. My name is Julia and I'm one of the second grade teachers at the Soulard School. Here for Teaching in Room 9, all my lessons focus on math for second graders, but everyone's always encouraged to join. Welcome back friends, thank you so much for taking time to be here together with me. And I'm so excited to be here with you and I can't wait for us to go ahead and get started. <clears throat> All right, friends, so we're gonna start with our mindful minute exercise. I love starting our lessons with our mindfulness activities, so that way I know that you will be centered, focused, and ready to learn here with me. Okay, so we're gonna do some mindful breathing here together, and I'm gonna talk to you about two new strategies that you guys can use at home when you start to feel overwhelmed or you feel those really big emotions coming on. Okay, so we're gonna take a deep breath, so sit up nice and straight and tall, shoulders back, let go of any tension you might be feeling in your body. We're gonna take a deep breath in through our nose, counting to three, and out through our mouth, counting to three. Okay, take a deep breath in. And breathe out. Nice job, friends. Keep taking those deep breaths in and out. I'm gonna to talk to you about some things that you can do when those big feelings start to come on. All right, so one thing that you can do when you're feeling really overwhelmed is to make a gratitude list. So I invite you or encourage my friends at home to write a list of 10 things that you're grateful for. You can do this out loud with a partner or you can write it down. This is a really good exercise to repeat monthly or even weekly or even daily. I have a daily gratitude journal that I like to write in because it helps put me in a really positive mindset for the day. Plus, we're um, in that time of year where we're thinking about Thanksgiving and all of those things that we are thankful for that we have in our lives. Focusing on those things help us to feel more centered, calm, and ready to go. Okay, something else that you can do when you start to feel these really big um, emotions is to listen closely, close your eyes, and listen to a ringing bell. So I have the singing bowl here that I love to use in my classroom with my students, and they know as soon as they hear it that um, it is time for them to pay attention. So I'm going to ring the singing bowl, and then I'd like you to raise your hand once you can no longer hear the sound. Ready? Okay, I can't hear the sound anymore. This is a really good um, strategy or exercise for you guys to do in order for you to focus your attention on just the sound as you're taking those deep breaths. And I find that um, the sound of the ringing bowl or the singing bowl really calming and relaxing as well. Okay, friends, nice job. I hope that um, you enjoyed those exercises and maybe you're able to use them on your own when you start to feel those really big emotions. So our learning goals for this week are, I can add or subtract two digit problems with regrouping, using different strategies to solve. So last week, if you were there with me, we did addition without regrouping. So we used these same four strategies, phase 10, expanded form, number line, and standard model. But last week we focused addition and subtraction without regrouping. We're gonna use those same four strategies, but with regrouping this time. So we started the week using our phase 10 strategy. So we're gonna take this um, addition equation here, the 68 and 37, and we are going to um, draw out both of our add-ins in base 10 blocks. So for 68, we have 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, right? Six tenths is worth 60. And then you draw out your ones. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, Eight. And then step two is to repeat with that second add-in. So for 37, we're gonna draw 10, 20, 30, and then our ones, one, two, three, 
four, five, six, seven. Then step three is to count the ones first. More than 10, we will have to regroup. We counted our ones. You guys are gonna count along with me, but we'll say stop once we get to 10. So that way we're able to regroup those ones. Are you ready? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Stop. We've now got ten ones. So those tens are going to zoop, transform into another ten and go over with their tens friends. So you can see I've drawn another ten right here in green. And then how many ones do I have left over? Let's count together. One, two, three, four, five. Nice job. And then step four is to count those tens. Are you ready to count the tens with me? 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 100. Nice job. So our sum of 68 plus 37 is 100. Five. Then we did expanded form. I like to think that expanded form is kind of the number version of drawing out the base 10 because you're expanding the number out to show the value of the tens and the ones. So six tens here is a value of 60 plus eight ones. Three tens is a value of 30 plus the seven ones. Then step two is to solve vertically. Vertically means up and down. So we start with our ones. Seven and eight ones is a total of 15 ones altogether. 60 and 30 for our tens is 90. So our expanded form of our sum is 90 plus 15. We add those together to get 105. So we're able to get the same sum using a different strategy. Then today we are focusing on using our number line strategy. So the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna draw an open number line. And then we're gonna write the larger add end at the start. So which number is bigger, 68 or 37? Yes, you are absolutely right. 68 is definitely bigger than 37. So we're gonna start at this end here with our 68. And then 37, that's how many hops we're going to make. It's important to start with the uh, larger add end because we wanna make less hops. We wanna make less work for ourselves. But it does work both ways and we're gonna practice that here in just a second. So we start at 68, then number two, is we break the add end that we're adding into tens and ones. We're gonna make our hops of tens first, and then we'll make our hops of one second. And then number three, where you land, that is your sum. So we started at 68, we know 37 is 30 for the tens and seven for the ones. So 68, gotta make those jumps of 10. So three jumps of 10, 68, 78, 88, 98. Amazing, so we did those tens, now it's time to do those ones. 98, you ready to count with me? 99, 100, 101, 102, 103, 104, 105. So we've got the same sum as we did in base 10 in expanded form, but using our number line strategy. Are you ready, friends? We're going to practice that now here together. We gotta get rid of this chart, by chart. We will come back tomorrow to solve using our last strategy. Okay, so all week we've been taking Thanksgiving polls. What's your favorite food? First we did turkey and stuffing. Then we had a poll of whether you like cranberries or mashed potatoes and gravy better. Today, we are finding out how many friends liked green bean casserole or sweet potatoes? And we're gonna solve our four fact family equations. So our friends that liked sweet potatoes the best are 44 friends. 
If you don't have something to write with, I'd like you to get something to write paper and pencil, or maybe you have dry erase in your distance learning materials as well. So go ahead and grab those so that we can um, solve here together. Okay, so we're gonna write down 44. This is how many friends like those sweet potatoes the best. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and draw out 44 using our base 10 blocks. Hopefully you can draw along with me. Okay, how many tens are in 44? Yes, 44 has four tens. Let's count up to the, uh, those four tens. 10, 20, 30, 40. All right, now let's do our ones. One, two, three, four. 44, we have it drawn out now to show our value, 40, and four. Now we're gonna add how many times like green bean casserole the best. I love green bean casserole. It's one of my very favorite side dishes for Thanksgiving. And in our poll, other friends also agreed with me and they liked green bean casserole the best because 67 friends chose green bean casserole. So go ahead and write the number 67. Now we wanna add these two numbers together to find out how many people did we ask in all? What is our total or our sum? Okay, let's go ahead and draw out 67 into tens and ones. Okay, 67 is how many tens? Yes, yeah, six tens. Let's count it together, friends, as we draw it. 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60. Nice job. Now we've got to do those ones. We've got seven ones in 67. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Okay, now we've got our two add ends. Now it's time for us to use that number line. Okay, right, so get your number line ready, friends. So our chart told us, or that visual model we were just looking at, told us that we should start with the bigger numbers. Let's go ahead and do that. Which number is bigger, 67 or 44? Yes, you are absolutely right. 67 is the larger added. I can even just tell that by looking. Can you tell as well? Yeah, we can see here, look how much more is in 67. 67 is definitely our larger add-in. So we're gonna start with 67 and we're gonna make 44 jumps. And then where we land, that will be our sum. So 67 is where I started on my number line. And I've got four tens, so I've gotta make jumps of 40 and then I will make my ones. Okay, so if we're at 67, we're gonna jump up 10, four different times for that 40. Are you ready, friends? We're gonna make our jumps on our number line. 67, 77, 87, 97. I've done 10, 20, 30, 10, 20, 30. How many more 10 jumps do I need to make? Yes, one more, 97. One more jump of 10 would be 107. So we did those um, tens. Now we've got to do our little ones. How many more little hops do I need to make? Yes, four more. So we're at 107. Let's go ahead and make those little hops. 107, 108, 109, 110, 111. So I did these four. You can see here, I had 10, 20, 30, 40. Did my hops of 10 first, and then I did one, two, three, four more, giving me a sum of 111. So I asked 111 people all together, which one was their favorite Thanksgiving food out of the choices of sweet potatoes or green bean casserole. Okay, friends, so now we are going to solve the second edition problem in our fact family. So we're going to switch the add-ins. 
Okay, so I'm gonna erase to get my stuff ready to go. Find a blank spot on your notebook or erase if you're using dry erase as well. I'm gonna do our second edition problem. Okay, so now this time we are going to start with the number of people that liked green bean casserole the most, which again was 67. So go ahead and write 67 down, friends. Okay. Are you ready to draw it out in our base 10 blocks? Let's do it here together. So 67, six tens. So we're gonna count up by 10, six times. Ready? 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60. Nice. Now we have to do those little ones and there are seven ones. Let's go ahead and draw them out together. One, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. Now let's add on how many friends chose um, sweet potatoes instead of the green bean casserole, which again is 44. Go ahead and write 44. All right, now we're gonna draw our base 10 blocks. And 44 has four tens. Draw them out with me and we'll count together, okay? 10, 20, 30, 40. And now how many ones? Yes, four ones. Let's go. One, two, three, and four. Now I'm going to get my number line ready to go. And so we know that we start with the biggest add end. And we know 67 is bigger than 44. But I wanna show you that we can still solve it the other way. We're just gonna have to make more hops. So this time, instead of starting at 67, I wanna start at 44, and then we're gonna make 67 hops. I'm gonna show you that we'll still arrive at the same sum. Okay, so write 44 on the, um, this end of your number line. And now we're gonna make those 60, seven hops. So I'm going to have one, two, three, four, five, six jumps of 10 for 60 and seven jumps of one for 67 altogether. All right, so we've got a lot of jumps to make. Let's get started. 44, 10 more. 54, 10 more. 64, 10 more, 74, 10 more, 84, 10 more, 94. All right, let's stop and check in with each other. So we've done one, two, three, four, five jumps of 10. Here's all my 10s. So I've done 10, 20, 30, 40, 50. How many more jumps of 10 do I need to make? Yes, just one more. So we're at 94. One more jump of 10 is 104. Nice job. Oh, the hard part is over with. We've already done our 60. Now it's time to make those seven ones jumps. So we're at 104, 105, 106, 107, 108, 109, 110, 111. So we made those jumps one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. We did those seven jumps. We've now officially made seven jumps. And we still arrived at 111. Okay, do you see how we'll still get the same sum each time, but it's just easier for us to start at the bigger add end on our number line, so that way we don't have to make quite so many jumps. Plus, the more jumps you make, the easier it might be to accidentally make a mistake. But it doesn't matter, we can still solve both ways, we just, it makes it easier for us to do less jumps. Okay, it's time for us to solve our two subtraction equations. So we're gonna start at our number line on the other end and we're going down because we are taking away. So we're gonna start with our total, which is again, 111. 
Get your number line ready to go. We're gonna start at 111 on this side here. Okay, then we are taking away. Let's start with taking away how many friends liked sweet potatoes the best, which again was 44. So let me write 44. I always make sure I line my numbers up too so that the place value are in line with each other. All right. So 111 is one, one, one. One of each, right? One, 100, one, 10, and one, one. Now we're taking away 44. So we're gonna start at 111 and we're gonna take away 44. 44 is how many tens, how many ones? Yes, you're so good at this now, friends. Four tens and four ones. So four tens is worth a value of 40 and four ones. Nice job. Now we know our subtraction poem. Here's our top number and here's our bottom number. And we always line up our place value so that our ones are together, tens are together, hundreds are together. So our subtraction poem says more on top, no need to stop. But I can see here more on the floor, go next door and get 10 more. So I cannot take away four ones from only one one. So we have to turn this one into 10 ones. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Now I'm able to take away those four. But since we're using our number line, let's go ahead. We're going to make 40 jumps back and then the four. So we're gonna have to do four jumps of 10. So if we're at 111, jump back 10 would be 101. Jump back 10 would be 91. Jump back 10 would be 81. Okay, we've done 10, 20, 30. We need one more for our 10. So now I am at 71. I have now officially made these 40 jumps back. Now we need to make those four ones. 71, ready? We're gonna make our uh, jumps of one together. 70, 69, 68, 67. So we get a total of 67. So we took our total number here and then we jumped back 44, which is our number of sweet potatoes. So we got our number of green bean casserole fans, which were 67 friends. So we started at our number 111, then we looked at 44. We saw that it was 40 and four, so we made one, two, three, four jumps of 10 and four ones to land at 67. Nice job. All right, it's time to do our very last subtraction equation. Okay, erase, 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 erase. All right, now we're going to start at again at 111. But this time, instead of making our jump stack of 44, we're going to subtract our 67. So write out 111. I'm gonna draw it out too. Here's one 100, one 10, oops, and one one. Okay, now we need to take away 67. Okay, 67 is six tens and seven ones. Let's draw it out together. Are you ready to draw it with me? 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60. So 60 and a one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Okay, you can see that 67 is broken down into 60 and seven. Bring it a little bit closer so you guys can see better. 
All right. All right, so we're gonna start at 111 and we're gonna make 67 jumps back. So first we're gonna make these 60, then we'll make these seven. And that will give us how many people liked sweet potatoes the best. Okay, so if I'm jumping back 60 jumps, I gotta get going, right? I'm at 111, jump back 10 is 101. Jump back 10 is 91. Jump back 10 is 81. Jump back 10 is 71. Let's see, we've made 10, 20, 30, 40 jumps so far. So we need to make two more jumps of 10. So we're at 71, jump back 10, 61, one more, jump back 10, 50. One, nice job. That was so many jumps, friends. So we've got 111, we jump back 10, six times. 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60. So then we've officially done these six tens. Now we are taking away those seven ones. We're gonna start at 51 and go back seven ones. Are you ready to do it with me? Let's do it, friends. 51, 50, 49, 48, 47, 46, 45, 44. Those are one, two, three, four, five, six, seven ones. I officially did this here and I landed at 44 because that is our difference. That is the number of people that liked green bean casserole the best. Nice job, friends. You did such a fabulous job. We have learned so many different strategies in order for us to be able to solve two-digit addition and subtraction with regrouping. We just have to remember that when we are subtracting, if we have more on the top, no need to stop. But if we have more on the floor, we need to go next door and get 10 more. And you can see here that we were just able to break apart that number that we were taking away. And in order to make that many jumps back on our number line. You guys are doing such an amazing job with this. I'm so proud of all of my friends. Thank you for all of your hard work. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye. Teaching in Room 9 is made possible with support of Bank of America, Dana Brown Charitable Trust, Emerson, and viewers like you.